So um, me and Mike and Graham went shooting uh, a couple of days ago. Um, subsequently, we've left a couple of the birds, brace of birds, to hang for a few days uh, to let the meat sort of mature. Um, and so what I'm going to do is take you through how to pluck a pheasant. Um, so first of all, what you do is you start with the tail. So you pull out the tail feathers. Um, they can be in there quite deep, so you've got to grab them quite firm. Um, just work your way round the back. And once that's been done, what we're eventually going to do is we're going to cut the legs and the wings off at two joints. The joint on the wing is just in here and you can feel it, if you pull the wing out, it kind of goes in and we're going to cut to that point. So we don't need to pluck past this point because we're going to, this is going to be discarded. So what I'll do is then take out those sort of longer wing feathers. It's always useful to have a bucket next to something because it is quite messy and feathers do get everywhere. The other thing to be really careful of with doing pheasants is if they've been shot, which they will have been, then there's going to be rips in the skin. And when you start to pull the feathers out, if you try and take too many at a time, you'll end up ripping the skin. Um, and I'm sure you'll see that as we go through. So I'm going to try and avoid doing that as little as possible because what we're trying to do here is pluck the bird as opposed to skin it. Um, the advantage of plucking the bird is all the fat, if you look at this one that was done earlier, all the fat is uh, under the skin, so if you take away that, you take away the fat. Um, and then for a roasting bird, that doesn't, doesn't do it quite as well. So often, if you have a huge amount to do, then uh, skinning's the way to go because it's it's quite a bit quicker and less fiddly. But so you hang the meat to make it gamier. Uh, the problem we've got is quite a mild year, like like this one. Um, you can't really afford to hang the bird for too long. Uh, depending on the weather and you have to really watch it, it could only be a couple of days. Um, but yeah, you just have to keep an eye out. Try and use some common sense and think about if it's warm, how quickly it's going to break down, if there's going to be flies getting at it, if you don't have sort of a secure room. And what I'm doing now is I've sort of moved the main feathers from sort of under the wing here, and just before I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to start doing the back. And you can begin to um, you can do is go against the grain, as it were and you can start to grab a few at a time but you still got to be very careful when you're doing this not to rip the skin and you will here as we go through I'm unfortunate you see here where the bird's been shot or picked up the skin's already ripped so I've got to be very careful when I'm picking around here so I don't pull a large amount of skin off so for hanging the bird um, it's best to hang it by the head up like this maybe on a piece of string or something well off the floor um, in a dry sort of, if you've got a cool, dry, enclosed place, would be best. Um, that way, you're going to stop the flies getting on it. Now, this is a cock bird. You can tell by the lovely plumage. The hen birds are sort of, they're just sort of a brown colour. Uh, they don't have any of this sort of colouring on them at all. Uh, some people say that the uh, the cock birds actually taste better than the hen birds. Um, I can't really say. My palate is at that point where I could tell the difference. It's a little uh, mottled bantam we got here. We're just talking about spurs, muscle peaking. Yeah. Let's talk about spurs on the um, yeah. on the pheasant. You can see this is this year's pheasant. It's got very small spurs. As birds get older, their spurs grow out. Cockbirds, yeah. And cock birds, and you can see uh, Harold's got a mighty set <laughs> like of spurs a on him. <laughs> no, you won't want them dug, dug into you. Here comes doggy for him. You can see on this one, it's a young bird because the spurs are very very small. Uh, compared to the chicken that had monster spurs. <laughs> We're getting towards the back of the bird. As you can see, this one's pretty tattered anyway from where it's been shot, but you've got to try and pull the skin tight, and that helps prevent ripping as you take out the feathers. Slowly getting there. What we're doing now is we've removed the majority of the feathers, there's still a bit of tidying up to do. Um, but what I'm going to do now is remove the wings and the feet. As you see the wings, I've plucked them to the point where I'm going to cut them. It's that joint I was talking about in there. So what I'm going to do is, take a knife, fortunately this knife isn't particularly sharp, and I'm going to cut down to the joint, just on the joint, round it. 
and then I'm just trying to get the joint to pump out of the socket like that. So once that's done, you then go in from behind and remove the wing like that. So that's one wing done. This next one down to the joint, which is there, around the joint. Then we're just popping the joint out of its socket and just cutting it off. So wing's done. So it's just worth remembering, um, obviously you're using sharp knives, and if you especially haven't done this before, you're at quite big risk of cutting yourself, so just be careful. Um, what we can do now is take the leg, um, and similar to what we did with the, um, with the wing, we're going to the joint, cutting on the joint, and just pushing it forward like that. You can see that's broken. You get the knife in behind and cut this off. So with the next one into the joint, cutting around the joint, pushing it forward, and then you're just cutting that off. So the leg's done. You can see uh, shot damage here. Um, obviously pretty catastrophic for the pheasant, but you do, fortunately this isn't the, the nicest bird, it, is, it has, has been through it a bit, but um, yeah, you, you have to be careful, especially when you're plucking it, that you don't rip into the holes that the shot put into the bird, and that's when it can, you can pull away more of the skin. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is, you feel in here, this is, pheasants keep all their food and all birds will have a crop, and you can actually see, can you see the, can you see the wheat in there? actual grains of it. So what we're going to do is make a little incision up here, just where the crop meets the breast. We want to take that crop out. So once we've got in there, a bit fiddly. Just tease it forward like that. You don't want to break the crop because then you get grain everywhere, just teasing it forward. I'll just show you what's in the crop. So, that's where they'll store some food. So we open that up. See there, this is dinner. So, more than likely this, this feed that's in the crop would have come from the bird feeders we put across the farm to try and hold the birds on the farm when they're released. Um, obviously they're free to wander anywhere. When a bird wanders onto your land, it's your bird, regardless of who, regardless of who raised it. So the next job is moving the head. So as I said, we've removed the crop, and the way to do this is pretty much as you'd probably imagine it. As you go up to the neck, to the base of the, it meets the body, cut the flesh, and then you've got to break the spine. There you go. One last thing, obviously you've got to go around tidying up your bird, pulling off all your loose feathers, push your legs in, makes it look a lot more presentable. Now I'm going to remove the innards. So what you can do here is if you grab the breast, just together there's a bone and you want to cut from the bone down to his bum. Just get a knife in there. Down to the bum. And then you put your hand inside the bird, or two fingers, wherever you can fit in, and keep your fingers running along the top of the rib cage. And you just want to pull everything that's inside out. Make sure it's nice and clean. It does smell a bit this bit. up forward it's a clean bird now it's just a job of uh, going around and tidying it up so what you're uh, going to want to do now is uh, obviously tidy up these birds wash them out and then uh, pop them in the fridge pop them in the freezer make them into a stew have them in a pie or a traditional roast pheasant um, there's many ways in which you can enjoy this is fantastic meat so of course to get this to get your dinner you've got to go shooting first 
So go online, have a read, find out where your local shoot is, go down, have a speak to the guys, find out what it's all about. Uh, most importantly, get out there and enjoy yourself in the countryside.